Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden vices learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't know what happened to my mom's boyfriend. She met him at the bingo hall, and he seemed nice enough. But I guess you could always tell with these things. Mom had been in a weird mood lately, and I thought it might have something to do with her boyfriend. She used to tell me stories about how she was going to marry this guy she used to date back in high school. But then he dumped her before prom and got married two weeks later. Her mother didn't let her talk to him ever again, so I guess that did a number on her mental state. Well, anyway, it all came to a head last night. Mom had been spending an awful lot of time with her boyfriend lately, more than normal so I snuck over to the house last night. I was worried that maybe he was hurting her or something, so when I reached the house, I crept around the side and peered in the window. The boyfriend was sitting on the couch with his back to me, eating Chinese food with chopsticks while watching TV. That seemed weird to me, because Mong didn't strike me as the type of person who would allow someone to eat their Chinese food with chopsticks, but maybe she was more open-minded than I gave her credit for. I watched him for a minute, my heart racing so hard that I thought he might be able to hear it. But then he turned around and looked right at me. My breath caught in my throat. He had no eyes, just black sockets staring at me with an intensity that chilled my blood. He let out a low groan as he stood up from the couch and started towards the window where I was standing. I turned and ran as fast as I could back home, slammed the door behind me and locked it. My mom was pacing around the living room when I got there. She flew into a rage when she saw me and started screaming about how she needed to get back to her boyfriend before something happened to him. She pulled out a knife from her pocket. The same knife she kept by her bedside since her mother died a few years ago and ran towards me as if she intended to stab me like some sacrificial lamb. I tried to dodge out of the way, but I wasn't fast enough. The knife sank into my arm, and all went red. I blacked out after that. When I woke up, I was in the hospital with my mom sitting next to me. She looked exhausted, but happy. The first thing she said to me was, He's gone. You killed him. I tried to process what she was saying, but I couldn't. I asked her what happened, and she told me that after I ran out, she went back inside and found her boyfriend with his throat slit open. Apparently, I must have done it in my blackout. The police asked me a lot of questions, but I couldn't remember anything about that night. All I know is that Mom's boyfriend is gone, and I have no idea how it happened. 